Dreamflow is the best place to build and ship cross-platform applications. So let me show you around. You can start a project with a prompt, a template, or a blank project. And that's what we're gonna do. When Dreamflow opens up, there are four main areas. The preview section, where your app is running in real time, and you can interact with it. Or turn on inspect mode, and you can select any widget to change it. You can see that it gets selected in the widget tree over here, your second section. The third section is your properties panel, which is in here. This is where you can edit any property on your widget. So if I wanna come in here and edit the properties, I can do that. The fourth section is over here with your agent. Let's close this up and we've got some app ideas that the agent gives you. Or if you're opening a project, you'll see some next steps, but we already have a plan, so we're gonna toggle this off. I went over to Dribble and found the most popular UI of all time. Let's see how Dreamflow does at building this. So I'm gonna drop that image in here and select GPT-5 and tell the agent, create this component. Focus on visual fidelity. The agent is going to understand the image, our prompt, look through the project, make a plan, and execute it. All right, this is looking great, except for one thing. I want these buttons to be the same size. So I'm going to go into inspect mode here, select my component, and double click into it, and then select this context right here. Right click, and I'm going to add this to our agent and then just ask it to make the cancel button the same height as the create button. That's great. I wanna make one more quick edit here. And so I'm gonna go into these colors right here. And if you right click, you can see this prompt edit. And I'm just gonna say, add one more color. Beautiful. Okay, next let's ask our agent to create a color palette and some theming based on this. Create color theming based on the current design. Great. So we can see this color theme right here. If we go into our theme settings, we've got our typography and our style constants right here. So if we go in and make a change to one of these right here, we can see it propagate throughout the app. Great. But I'm going to push that back for now and let's create a page for all the events you create. Okay. This looks great. Let's create a new event here. Beautiful. Next, let's add a logo. But I want an SVG, and so I want to use this package on PubDev, a package repository with over 50,000 packages. So I'm just going to copy this right here and tell the agent, add an SVG logo with this package. Okay, there it is. There's just a placeholder there. Let's replace that by adding our SVG asset here. So I can add it in here or just drag and drop it in. Great, we've added it in there. And if we want to see it in the code, we can jump into the code here, go into our assets, and there it is. Okay, great. Let's just add that to the UI. So we're going to back to preview. Let's go into inspect mode, select our SVG, come into our properties here, select the constructor, which will be an asset, and let's grab a path to our image right there. Let's right click, copy path, and paste it in. Beautiful. Next, let's wire this up to a backend so our data can persist. And we've got Superbase and Firebase, and I'm gonna connect to Firebase. Create a new project and configure Firebase. Generate the client code. Okay, great. I added an on sign-in in Firebase, and so we can go in now. Now let's add an event. Beautiful. Last thing to do is to deploy our app, and you can do that with one click to the web, iOS, and Android. We can't wait to see what you'll build in Dreamflow.